With its natural beauty, economic stability, and projected job growth, you too might be thinking about moving to the Kirkland, Washington area. If you're relocating for work, if you enjoy hiking, biking, water sports, if you uh, love the Pacific Northwest, if you're relocating for a job, if you already have a job here and you're coming back, if you are thinking about moving to Kirkland, Washington, we've got you covered. Stay tuned. Today, we're going to talk about the cost of living right here in Kirkland, Washington. Living in Bellevue, Washington channel. What's up? If you're new here, this channel is all about what it's like to live in and around Bellevue, Washington. We talk about what it's like to eat, sleep, play, the up, the down, the left, the right, anything you could possibly want to know about living in Bellevue, Washington or any of the surrounding suburbs. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. It helps anybody who is looking for this information find it more easily. If you hit that notification bell and the subscribe button, you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video to this channel. My name is Silva. I'm a real estate agent right here in Bellevue, Washington. And look, we have so many people reaching out, people who are relocating, people who are looking for a place to retire, people who are getting jobs out of college, anybody, absolutely anybody that is looking to move to the east side of Seattle is calling us. They email us, they text us, they get on our calendar link down below and you can do the same thing. Reach out to me, send me a text message, pick up the phone, give me a call, send me an email, hit my calendar link down below. Let's get you started on your journey and get you settled in in Kirkland, Washington. So today we're going to talk about the cost of living and the first thing I want to talk about is how you can figure out your cost of living. So your cost of living is taking your fixed expenses like your rent and your mortgage payment along with your variable expenses like your food, your gas, your utilities and clearly the amount you can afford is based on the income you make. If you are trying to figure out your cost of living, if you want to know where you sit so that you have a comfortable life, you can go to a site like Nerd Wallet, Bankrate, you can Google it, I'm sure, to figure out your cost of living. So clearly the cost you can afford uh, and the prices in the market in the Kirkland area are affected by what people's income level is. The average income, according to point2homes.com, which takes information from the census in 2020, so it's already a little bit dated, the average income in Kirkland, Washington is $155,000. That is a jump higher than the national average of $87,000. So because the income level is higher, people can afford more, and when there's competition for houses, that tends to drive the housing prices up. We also have an abundance of luxury homes as well as lakefront properties that also drives the housing prices up. So where is Kirkland, Washington, and why is it so expensive? So I've told you that we have a lot of natural beauty here, we have a strong economy here, and we have a lot of job opportunity here. So Kirkland, Washington is located just north of Bellevue, Washington, and east of Seattle. We are separated from Seattle by Lake Washington. Because of its location, we have a Google office here that has over 7,000 employees. They are building a new office space that is over 760,000 square feet. We have Microsoft due east in Redmond and we have Amazon directly south in Bellevue. So um, there is within less than 30 minutes drive time, 15 minutes drive time, major worldwide corporations. Along with that, we have at least 24 corporations in Kirkland and startups, other tech companies that are all within 30 minutes drive. That's part of the beauty about moving to this area. If you do work in one of these industries that is tech related, we'll call it tech related, you can buy a house in Kirkland and if you start with Microsoft and 10 years from now, you decide you wanna work for Amazon or for Google, you don't have to move houses. You might wanna move because your salary has increased, but you are gonna be in proximity to all three of those major companies without having to go anywhere except drive a, a different route. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen to show you the zip code, if you are looking for housing in Kirkland, I know you're probably gonna go to Zillow, you're probably gonna go to Redfin, that seems to be 
the preferred method for home buyers to be searching for a house. You can either look up Kirkland directly or you can look up zip code 98033 or 98034. There is a bit of a difference between the two zip codes. The further north you go, the houses will be a little bit more budget friendly. The further south you go, the closer proximity to Bellevue, the higher the prices of the houses are gonna become. So besides location, what else is driving the cost of housing up here in Kirkland? We talked about the location, the proximity to work, but one of the other things that people wanna enjoy is life. So Kirkland is a fantastic mix of both urban and suburban. We have a boatload, pun intended, restaurants, shops, boutiques, bars. There's a lot to do that feels very urban, walking distance if you are in downtown Kirkland, but we also have an abundance of outdoor space and parks, which gives you that great suburban feel. Um, and people wanna have that quality of life here. One of the biggest draws to downtown Kirkland is Marina Park, located right in downtown Kirkland. It has boat launches, it has a public dock, it has picnic tables, it has an open air pavilion. It hosts numerous events throughout the year, along with summer concerts and 4th of July celebration. It even has a sandy beach. So if that is something you really wanna take advantage of, you need to be close to the area of Kirkland that includes downtown Kirkland. Also located in downtown Kirkland is a really unique place called Park Lane. It's got a, a bit of a European flair to it. It's two stories uh, in much of it, but it is a wonderful place to stroll. It's very pedestrian friendly. It has the most amazing and cool eclectic boutiques. There's great food, there's great shopping. It's a great place to just take a stroll and all again, right within uh, walking distance of Marina Park and the waterfront. So uh, Kirkland really does have so much to offer. Um, I really like to go to the explorekirkland.com website to figure out what I wanna do for my days in Kirkland. Um, oftentimes I've gone down there to the waterfront with my daughters. We spend some time walking along the lake. We go into town, we have a little bit of lunch, we walk through the boutiques. Um, I've met friends downtown. It's really a great place to sit and socialize and people watch and look around and see all the new and beautiful things that are in Kirkland. Another great point to Kirkland is it is a very safe place. Uh, you can go hiking, you can go biking, you can walk around, you can go downtown in the evening. You feel very safe and that is not just a feeling, but according to the statistics, Kirkland's crime statistics are half or less than half of the national average overall. So um, always take precautions, be safe, but you can, you can walk around and know that it is a great place to be. Another reason that Kirkland is so well liked is because it has highly rated schools. And I, I struggle with ever saying anything negative about the schools. And I tell my clients oftentimes that when you come from a highly educated job force, the apple does not fall far from the tree. And our schools do a fantastic job. They're well supported by the parents, they're well supported by the companies, they're well supported by the state. The schools in the area do a very good job of offering a variety of levels as well as keeping us up to score in state levels with reading and math testing. As always, check out the schools on School Digger, on greatschools.com, wherever you want to lock. Talk to people in the area. Like I said, um, you're going to find that most of the people you talk to who have children in Kirkland are going to be wanting the same things out of schools for their kids that you are looking for. I think this is a great place to be for one other reason. Uh, Kirkland, Washington is rated number three out of 183 cities in the state of Washington for young professionals. I like young professionals. I like to talk, I like to debate, I like to uh, learn new things from the people around me and that's really a great asset to the city of Kirkland.
So now we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty of cost of housing. The biggest cost you're gonna probably deal with is your rent or your mortgage payment. So if you are looking for a house, Kirkland is divided into two different zip codes, 98033 and Oops, I did it backwards. 98034 is to the north and 98033 is to the south. 98033 will be closer to Bellevue and therefore the income level is greater and the cost of living is also gonna be greater. Houses are gonna be slightly more expensive uh, than they will be in the opposite zip code of 98034. If you are looking for something a bit more suburban and a bit more budget friendly, you will be looking at the 98034 zip code that is to the north. The big difference is going to be if you are looking at lakefront property, then it really doesn't matter what zip code you're looking in. Lakefront property is always going to cost more than a uh, property that is in the Kirkland is a city, well, we call it the city of Kirkland, of less than 100,000 people. So it's uh, a little bit smaller than some of the neighboring towns that are super close by. So within the city of Kirkland, and I'm gonna show you another graphic here, there are about less than 40,000 housing units in the city of Kirkland. To put things in perspective, it is November of 2022, and people are getting a little freaky that the housing market is crashing right now. So out of 39,000 housing units in the city of Kirkland, there are approximately 122 single family homes for sale right now. There is still competition. We still have townhouses, we still have apartments, we still have condos, we still have other means of, of living. But if you are looking to buy a single family house, these are the things you're gonna be looking for. So now we're gonna to get to the point that impacts your cost of living the most, and that is your rent or your mortgage payment. That usually takes up the biggest amount of your budget. So cost of living in Kirkland, like we said, because the income level is higher, the housing is a higher expense, a larger expense because people want that proximity to their workplace, um, and they wanna live in a place that they enjoy and they like. So of the 122, 23 houses that are for sale currently November, 2022, there are about 40 houses priced under $1 million. Now, mind you, this is all single family homes. There are apartments, excuse me, or condos. There are townhouses. Um, there are smaller houses. There are older houses. There are houses that need renovating, a little bit of sweat equity. You can find some of those houses under the $1 million range. Like I said, there are approximately 40 of them available. The brunt of the house is between $1 million and $3 million, three plus million dollars. You're gonna have about 75 houses in that price range out of the 122 houses for sale. And like I said, um, there are about 39,000 housing units in Kirkland. That includes all forms of housing, not just single family houses but of those houses available, only 122 houses are for sale. Kirkland has a population of less than 100,000 people. So um, while it is called the city of Kirkland, it is not really a true city. It's definitely more suburban. And if you go to the zip, different zip codes, depending on which one you are, you will get more of that suburban feel. If you are looking for something on the waterfront, uh, more luxury. There are approximately eight to 10 houses for sale right now, uh, over $4 million. I think right now the highest priced house is a lakefront property in Kirkland is listed at just under $15 million. If you are ready to make the move to Kirkland, Washington, if you want more information, if you want to experience the natural beauty, the job opportunities. If you are looking to get into that new Google office space when they open in 2025, please send me a text message, give me a call, send me an email, do whatever it takes. You will not regret moving to Kirkland, Washington.